now more on that record breaking temperatures today in Long Beach, where it hit 108 degrees by the ocean. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell takes a look at what people are doing to try and beat the heat. Beachgoers watching the sun go down in Long Beach, enjoying a cooler evening after a day of record setting heat. The temperature soaring to a sweltering 108 degrees, the hottest day in the city since 1988. 108 degrees. Well, I believe it because my church is in Long Beach. It was 109 there, so yeah. I've never seen it that hot. Labor Day weekend visitors surprised by the temperatures after heading to Long Beach from other communities hoping for relief from the heat wave. I know Calabasas gets hot, you know, right around 100, 500, and, but I didn't know Long Beach was this hot today. So I guess, you know, I'm part of history today. <laughs> yeah. Thousands of people heading to beaches and setting up umbrellas, having fun in the ocean and on the sand. Others spending time in parks, having picnics with family and friends, and staying in the shade. It's so insanely hot, it's, it's crazy. Like, I have never seen Long Beach this hot before. Southern Californians are urged to drink plenty of water, stay in an air-conditioned room, and avoid strenuous outdoor activities to prevent heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Some Long Beach residents waiting until late afternoon to take their pets out for walks. They spent most of the time indoors today. Have the last few days it's been so hot. I'm, I'm lucky I have air conditioning. Not everybody has that luxury, but I really feel for the, the, the homeless animals and the homeless humans. And excessive heat warnings will remain in place for the next several days. In Long Beach, Amy Powell, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Amy, thank you. And it's not our typical dry heat. If you noticed how humid it was today, check out what it spawned in Santa Clarita. This storm moved through this afternoon, packing some powerful winds, gusts tossing around pool furniture and toppling trees. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Pulliam is in Santa Clarita with more. Extreme weather here in Santa Clarita. Neighbors sweating through this oppressive heat wave one moment, then suddenly getting soaked by the heavy rain. When it rains, it pours, a statement hitting close to home for neighbors in Santa Clarita. It kind of just came out of nowhere. Milo Wakefield describes being assaulted by the rain while back to school shopping. We saw a crack of lightning, heard the thunder, and then just starts, it started uh, pouring sideways against our car. So we rolled down the windows and we're like, wow, what is that? I thought we were in California. And then look at this scene on social media, wind and rain pummeling this backyard patio and pool. All of it catching people off guard this Labor Day weekend. Many out shopping for those holiday deals and steals. We're signed to buy a fridge. Nico was headed home to Fresno with his new refrigerator on his truck when the skies opened up. Yeah, it was really bad. Uh, water, you could see the water rising up real fast. What was going through your mind? Um, at the time, I just thought, it, you know, best just pull over. It's a bit of weather whiplash for some of us battling days of record-breaking, blistering heat, now dumps of rain. My coworkers, we were outside standing in it. Why? Just to cool off a little bit. It really felt so good, honestly. Um, I really needed it. I think the plants needed it, but I think I needed it more. And the rain did cool things off a bit. Earlier today, it was in the triple digits. Right now, we're hovering around the mid 80s. In Santa Clarita, Tim Pulliam, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.